Please take your seats quickly, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Hi guys, welcome to OneMinuteTennis.com. In today's session, I want to talk to you about how to combine real power using the core of your body with a topspin swing pass to create huge effect on the ball, but still hit the ball with real acceleration and strength. Now, what I've done here is I've tied some string around the bridge of the racket here, and I'm now going to take the racket back, but the string is going to be below my arm, not above my arm, but below my arm. And so now I take the racket back into this position here, and the string is below the arm, and I'm now going to have a fight between the non-dominant hand and the dominant hand. The non-dominant hand will win because it's got much better leverage. But as I do that and really pull, I can feel all the muscles in my torso, my chest, my deltoids, my rhomboid muscles in my back are all tensing to help the dominant hand make the stroke. And now I'm going to release it with my non-dominant hand and make the swing. And this makes for really good racket speed. It's the correct muscles making the correct movement in sequentially perfect harmony. But how to blend that tremendous racket speed with the correct swing for topspin? Because if we're going to swing that fast, we need spin to control the ball. So what I'm going to do now is place the string above my hand, above my arm. The other one was below. This is above. And now I take the racket back and I begin the same arm wrestle. But now the string is actually holding me above the arm. You can see it's coming across my arm. It's a little bit uncomfortable. The same engagement of the major muscle groups. And now when I release and make the swing, then now naturally I will go into a topspin swing path. The racket will begin coming through very flat through the ball, but it will very quickly, steeply pull upwards. And now the natural thing to do is to go into progressions. And so I begin with the racket held in place with the string trapped above my arm. Again, I start the arm wrestle between the two arms. My whole body is now engaged and I release the string and whip the racket through into a topspin swing path. And now I'm just going to quickly gather the string up and reproduce the same movement, but without using the string to actually create that tension in my body and making the swing path. I'm just letting it happen. I've got the feel of it and now I let it happen. The brain's amazing at making these connections. When you get the right shape that feels good, and it will reproduce it almost instantly. This is a great way of getting the feel of the correct swing path, because instead of actually trying to make it happen, I'm actually letting it happen. And by letting it happen, I'm going to have a much more fluid, relaxed, and easier stroke. If you like my ideas, check out our off-court services. We're providing one-to-one -one training for players in over 40 countries all over the world with a unique blend of video analysis and personalized one-to-one -one lessons, or check out our books on Amazon. We have books on every part of the game, broken down into the science and the detail of the stroke, and then super simple solutions with great illustrations. Everything we do is geared to help you reach the next level and become the best version of yourself. I hope this makes sense because it's a great way of finding not just the correct swing path with great precision and detail, but also the correct muscle groups being engaged sequentially in perfection. Thanks for watching and see you next time for more unique tennis lessons that really work. Yeah.